Hi, and welcome to Neo's Makeup. I'm Neo, and today we're doing a foundation review. We are reviewing the brand new Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation by Maybelline. This is a hydrating foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and collagen. And I have the shade 75 Natural Beige. So funny enough, before we get into clients and everything, I am Natural Beige, which is 220 in most of the other lines. This is the one where it's a little weird. This one is also more olive. <laughs> So you're looking at it, it's going to look a little dark on camera, but it does blend into my face and to my neck and to the rest of my skin. So just want to give you that warning because I have started doing like color matching before I get on camera and having to spend all the time for that. So just letting you know, this is a good color match. It's going to look darker on camera. Just giving you a heads up. But let's get into the claims about this. On here it says gives up to 12 hours of continuous hydration, again hyaluronic acid. Visibly improves the look of skin, medium coverage with a radiant finish, does not clog pores, dermatologist tested. And let's see what the Maybelline website has to say. So again, this is part of Maybelline's Dreamline, uh, similar to the Dream Urban Cover, which I tested with Eamon and Jordan. Uh, that was a lot of fun. We did that during the summer. We were at Six Flags. I keep wanting to say Bush Gardens because that's where I think of whenever I think of theme parks like that. <laughs> but we were at Six Flags in Texas. It was so much fun. If you haven't seen that video, it's going to be linked somewhere up here. But let's get into the claims. It is a radiant liquid foundation, uh, let's see. Giving you a natural looking glow you'll never want to take off. This lightweight foundation formulated with hyaluronic acid and collagen hydrates and smooths the skin while delivering a medium coverage foundation finish for the look, for the look of plump skin. Benefits, get ready to face the city with radiance. Experience a medium coverage fit, Foundation finish your skin will never want to take off. This lightweight foundation is formulated with hyaluronic acid, collagen, and moisturizes the skin and gives it a natural radiant look, delivering up to 12 hours of hydration. This new formula comes in 20 different shades and provides smooth looking, smooth and even looking skin. It's like the perfect foundation for dry skin. Now I have more medium combos, so we're going to see how this wears. Uh, apply this, let's see. They say apply this liquid to the skin, blend with fingertips, a beauty sponge, or makeup brush. Main ingredients are water. I mean, yeah, that's the first main ingredient. Um, hyaluronic acid is oddly. Sorry, just going through the ingredient list. Uh, dimethicone is high up there. I know my skin sometimes has some reaction to dimethicone. Just wanted to check that. Um, has shea butter. Okay. It's not showing much else. Let's see. I will say, and I've said this before, I've seen the promo pictures in store, and the ones that they have in store does not make this look nice. Uh, earlier, whenever I had it on, I still had not shaved yet. I did not take any pictures before. I probably should have, so you can see like what it looks like on bare skin with no primer or anything. It looked really nice. It looked like skin. I did blend it out with a brush. There were just a few minor strokes here and there that you could see like streakiness. But otherwise it looked really nice. So there are 20 shades. Uh, real quickly I'm just trying to see. Most of them are more light. And then you have like six shades of deep. <laughs> and I'm like... Wow. I am... The eighth shade from the deep end, which is the thirteenth shade. So, me, I'm more light, medium, medium, and I'm the thirteenth shade. That's bad, especially if it's not twenty. Who? That's bad. Okay. Aside from that, though, um, I have seen one review on this. I do not remember how it went for them. <laughs> it was Sam or Samaj. Uh, I know she's also more oily combo has been a little dry lately. I mean, let's face it, everyone gets a little dry during the winter. So, I'm curious to see how this does. Um, I'm not going to do like a sponge on one side and brush on the other. I just, whenever it's more medium, I do prefer to do the brush and then press in with a sponge. So, let's do that real quickly after I prime. Again, going with my favorite Bear With Me primer. While I closed this really tight last time. And then I'm also going in, this is the NYX uh, high, high Glass Priming Brush. I cannot speak today. 
And this is really good for this especially, because in here it is literally a jelly. You can't even see it because it's so clear. But this just picks up like the right amount and just spreads it perfectly. So, like this. And I like this primer so much that I literally bought two backups. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I love this. Let me grab more. I'm almost done with this primer. This is like the second primer I've gone through that quickly. Also, real quickly, update. I will be mentioning KVD Vegan Beauty on here. Because Kat has left the brand. And so I am more open to talking about the brand again. She's not getting residuals, anything like that. And I'm not afraid to say that. I think that was a bit good choice. The brand was suffering because of her and her decisions. And it's good to see that they were like, you know what? It's good if you do step away. I hope things do work out for the brand because I know they've been kind of in a rough spot. But hopefully they can grow again and get back to where they were. Only reason I'm mentioning that is because I've still been using the KVD Vegan Powder because that is like the best powder for oily skin. And I've just been like the brand I don't mention, but now I can say, oh yeah, KVD Vegan. Which is a tongue twister. At the same time, I'm like, I'm okay with that. Now that my skin is primed, I'm going to go in with my Sephora collection. This is the match makeup match foundation brush and again I'm going to be taking the shade 75 neutral beige or no natural beige and it's so nice to see Maybelline actually still go with a pump <laughs> like if you know their previous launches most of them don't have pumps except for the super staying so seeing a pump on a foundation from Maybelline makes me very happy um, so yeah, we're just gonna do like a one squirt. It is a very thick Like if you look at it, it's not moving <laughs> I'm just gonna grab and blend Yeah, see that actually looks really like, good on camera, okay that's weird. Not weird that it looks good. I'm just saying, like, on camera, I know a lot of times things look very, very light. And I always have to say, like, oh, no, it's, like, a good match in person. Now I'm like, oh, it, this is a good match, and it looks like a good match on camera. So I'm just kind of weirded out. <laughs> And the only reason I really have to say that is because ring light brightens everything. So that was one pump. And I got a fairly good amount of coverage from that. So we're going to do one more pump. One thing I do want to say is I do know this primer adds coverage. So if you like to get a full coverage and don't like to look cakey, try this primer. Because of the amount of grip it has, it just helps pigment, like, stay and look really there on the skin. To the point where it just looks so... Like, that Screen Queen foundation is supposed to be a light to medium. It looked almost full coverage. Then again, I was doing a pump per area because I'm excessive. And I should have gone off the back of my hand like I am doing right now. That's on me. But then again, that looked so good good regardless. It just wore so nicely. So, honestly, I've been liking all the foundations I've been trying lately, and that's kind of a bad thing, because now I have, like, a thing just full of foundations, and I'm like, great, when am I going to use this one again? When am I going to use this one again? When am I going to use this one again? But I'm always testing new and new and new. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining, because I kind of enjoy it. I'm just like, hmm, I need to get back to what I love, which honestly, so also update in case you are not watching uh, my, if you're not 
staying up to date on Instagram, I did get a new job. It is at Walgreens. I'm still going to be staying at where I mainly work and I'm still going to be doing videos. Uh, the main thing is that now I'm actually going to be working in beauty because the position at Walgreens is in their beauty section. Okay, I'm going to real quickly take a sponge before I get to my neck just to help push this in because it looks really nice. It's sitting on the skin really nicely. Hold on, let me just brush this little hair away. Yeah. So let's see, we're going to zoom in. So you can see, oh wait, I forgot to turn this light on. It helps balance a little bit. So you can see it's a very natural look to the skin. It looks like your skin, but better. 100% honest. And I forgot to get right under my nose. Wow. But again, I'm going to real quickly, oh no, that's zooming in. I'm going to real quickly bounce this in just to like lock. I did remove that little bit because I had a hair that was just sticking. But honestly, this looks really nice once bounced in. It was already looking good before, but it's just like nicer. Man, what is it with all these companies coming out with really good foundations? <laughs> Again, this is initial application. You can see it's still matching my neck. I'm going to take care of my neck and just like the few more spots I need to cover up. Like in here, which has been an issue lately for uh, foundations not staying, but if that's the only spot after nine hours, I'm okay. My skin looks so Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm kind of in shock. Um, going off topic, we're going to go into concealer and I'm going to use, ooh, that looks like it might be. Yeah, we're going to use 40 and N from Urban Decay. This is the Stay Naked. One thing I do want to say, which is a little interesting, Maybelline has not released a new concealer in a long time, but I'm kind of waiting for them to release one. Like, I don't know if they're going to do... Oh, no, wait. They did the Superstay Concealer, which I have. I have not used. I've had it literally for, like, months, and I have not touched it. Um, they haven't done, like, a natural concealer for the Help Their Dream line. Because the Dream is more their like natural finish line. I'm surprised they haven't done like a Dream, a Radiant, or Dream Urban Concealer. Like, that'd be a fun idea, especially since Tati now... Okay, it's so funny. I go through, I talk about some products before other influencers, but then as soon as Tati gets to it, I'm like, yeah, I knew. <laughs> I knew before. <laughs> like the uh, Dream Urban Cover. I saw her her do that one. I'm like, it's a good one. You're going to like it. Sure enough, in her best of 2019, she loved it. Except for the fact that it had SPF. Because she's really reacted to SPF. Which I'm like, I understand. I really reacted to Dimethicone. But that one. It's just, it's a really nice foundation. I need to reuse it more because I haven't, uh, I've used it like here and there since coming back from Texas, but I haven't like used it in a while. And I don't really do like this concealer. Like I love some of the other concealers I've tested. Like that uh, L'Oreal one's really nice, but man, it just, like this concealer is really the best for me. That or the NYX. Can't Stop, Won't Stop, which I tested really early last year. And I was surprised because literally did not crease. 
and I was holding on, like, it kept my oils at bay. I was like, yes, I like you. I like you a lot. So much that I had to do that mini review, really, shortly after. I, actually, no. It's just because I didn't have video of it. I was literally, like, out and about applying at the time because I was just leaving Macy's. And then that's when I tried it and I was just like, and I love you. <laughs> and that was right around the time that the Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation like became a favorite of mine. Because originally I'm like, it's okay, I'd use it again, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It literally, I have both of my shades in it because I'm like, I love this. <laughs> I know, I know I'm gushing a lot about NYX, but it's just because it's so good. What? Okay, I'm going to set my face using the KVD Vegan Beauty Powder. Um, and I'm just going to mainly focus really under the eyes, just to make sure this does increase. I mean, it very rarely does, but just in case. <laughs> I like how I know my products so well. And then we're going to be setting the rest of the face as well. take my powder brush. This is KVD Vegan Beauty. Um, it's honestly the best powder brush I have. Um, I'm going to be stamping it all over the face. Again, I do have more oily skin, so it is better for me to go stamp it in and then blend, just because then it really pushes it into the skin and just locks everything. I've mentioned that in the past, but I keep forgetting to bring it up whenever I'm doing powders. I will say, even through the powder, I am still seeing like a glow on camera. In person, I have more of that natural finish. So, just want to say, in person, it does look different from on camera. Wow, that was more than I wanted it to be. Okay, so this is what we look like before other powders, bronzers, everything like that. Um, first thing, it looks really nice. Um, it's not doing that thing where because it's more hydrating and I added a powder that it's like clogging up or getting more cakey-like. It's just looking really nice. Do you notice that's around the mouth area there are some areas that is a little weird like right around here just because I do have uh, pores right there for facial hair so it is kind of like collecting in those oddly but everything else looks really nice so did I powder my nose I'm gonna go and do a bronzer blush highlight do that off camera I'm gonna put like a little bit of something in the crease and then maybe a little something on the inner corner. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. I decided to do a quick eye look. It's really cute, all I did was use like literally one eyeshadow, my blush, which was the Tarte Party. And this is the Neutrogena Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Dusty Mauve. Applied that in the crease, blended out with the, br with the blush. Ran it slightly on the outer corners of the eye. And then use my highlighter, which is the Wet n Wild Red Glow Highlighter in Crystal High. Applied that on the inner corner. I'm like, wow, that was really simple. I'm like, it looks weird though. So I went and added liner. <laughs> I literally have, okay. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, I mentioned this on IG the other night. This new Wet n Wild Break Up Proof Liner glides so easily. Like, my liner looks so good today. I was able to get it, like, even, like, right into the inner corner, like, the best way possible. I'm really liking how this looks, and I wasn't even planning to do eyes. So that's the fun part. Um, and then for lashes, I have on the Violet Voss in the style 
just slaying. You can't even see that. They're really cute, fluffy. And I'm going to real quickly set my face using my Collab Set the Stage setting spray and my Morphe X Jeffrey setting spray. But I just wanted to come in before I do that so you can see, like, this is before I set. Like, everything looks nice. I'm really liking how everything looks. Um, oh, I forgot to put lips on! That's the one thing I forgot. Uh, I'm going in with Bear With Me by... Physician's formula. Hold up, let me do that real quickly. Woo! I'm just gonna do it on camera. That looks so nice! Okay. Really liking this. This is one of their healthy lipstick, healthy liquid lipsticks. Complimenting the complimenting complimenting the eye very well. And I'm loving this. Oh my gosh! I'm like, <laughs> I literally was planning on just like having some lipstick on, like just a little coat in the crease. But this turned out to be a fun look. Not even gonna lie. Again, I'm going to set my face, and then I'm going to change and head out. I'm probably going to do one more check-in, like, everything, like I've been doing lately, so I'm going to be bringing my camera with me. But I need to go because I'm running behind. Woo! Okay, so real quickly, I just wanted to show what this looks like in natural lighting. Okay, sorry. Got a notification. Um, this is looking really nice. Maybe a touch bit dark. Um, but not bad. Definitely more on the medium, medium full scale. And right now I'm definitely getting more of a natural than a radiant. So, not yeah, mad. Let me just see if I can get in different lighting. So this is where the sun's actually going to be coming in. Okay, nope. Lines. Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay. You have an idea? It looks really nice. Okay, I need to go. I need to head out to work. Let's go. Okay, so it's now 11.54. That means I've had this makeup on for just like seven and a half hours. I have not touched up. And again, on camera, it looks more oily in this area. It looks so good. Oh, wait, oh my gosh, I don't even have to power my nose. And it's holding up in between my, like, the little, like, I have folds on my nose. Oh, my gosh. Hold up. <laughs> like, some of my favorite foundations don't even do that. So, I'm shook. Like, some, like most of my go-tos don't, they, like, will break apart a little bit. This looks like it's still holding on. I'm shook. And yes, I literally did just get out of work. I had to be back here in like 12 hours. Ah, these lashes wanted to come off the whole time. Um, yeah, this is like looking really good. I'm just going to get like really close up like you can see. Okay, right there it looks a little shiny, but in person it just looks like skin, not like oil. Oh my gosh, that lash literally almost came off. Wow. I know this one was about to come off earlier. The liner is still holding up. Like, everything's holding up. I ate, and I did not have to touch this up. So, this is holding up really well, too. Like... Everything is holding up except for the lashes. And I have to say, like, during my shift, I was, like, trying to pinch these back into place. So I'd be, like, placing them and then going, like, pinch to get them back on. And, the, great, that one just moved even more. And there's no residue for my mascara. So the Roselle Day mascara, I have to say, I am so pleasantly surprised with that mascara. Like, I'm not... 
I know Physician's Formula has, like, nice mascaras in the past. I've never tried any of them. This is my first one from them. I really enjoy it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, like, low-key kind of shook that everything is holding up so well. Like, I don't really have to touch up my nose. And then whenever I touch it, everything is still holding on, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no residual foundation or anything on. Highlight's still beaming. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this. Oh my gosh. I'm shook. I need to go home. I'm going to go. Go home. We're going to finish up this review. I'm going to eat. And then yeah. Oh, honestly, I'm just going to take these lashes off now because <laughs> I have the box with me. And uh, you can see I'm um, fit. No. Um, always bring a box of everything with me. So, like, highlighter, powder, everything. I always bring everything with me. I'm just going to take these off because they were ready to come off. Oh, my vision now feels so much better. I will be cleaning them before I use them again, but I just need to get those off. So yeah, now here we are. It looks, it looks so different without the lashes, but then you can really see the liner. Like, it's still holding up. And like, Yeah, everything is holding up really well. And yes, I know it looks like my liner is a little off. I My eyes are technically two different shapes because of where things go, so I do have to do them differently. But, yeah, I'm really <laughs> enjoying this makeup day. I got so many compliments. People were like, oh, it looks, you look airbrushed. Um, or... Uh, someone, I don't remember their exact words, but it was along the lines of, oh, oh yeah, you are wearing makeup. Like, they're like, foundation, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> um, like, it looks like really just, like, nice skin. I am really surprised. In the, the best way possible. Okay, I need to stop rambling so I can go home. And then, yeah, you can see in this, like, dimmer light. Okay, yeah. Okay, a little bit of oil peeking through on the nose. But it's not bad. It doesn't look like true oil. Just like... I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get back home. <laughs> and this is going to be a true 8 hours. I know this is 12 hour hydration. But I'm like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sleep. Because I have to get back here. So yeah. But yeah, I'm going to go. Okay, so I just got home. Um, I'm going to take this off and then finish the review. Um, and I'm going to eat because I'm really hungry. Um, I just want to do the last check-in. I have not touched this stuff at all. And no transfer. Like, I'm shocked. I'm sure look in the best way. We can get into that later. Take this off real quickly. Just want to do like a final look while in it. Okay, so here we are. Final thoughts for this foundation. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but brands are really knocking it out of the park lately uh, with foundations. This one, I just. It looked so good on my skin. It felt really good on the skin too. Honestly, what it reminded me of is, let me pull it out. So, the foundation it kept reminding me of was actually the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Foundation, which is high praise from me because even though I haven't done a review on this foundation, I've worn it to work and it's so nice. <laughs> Um, I wore it whenever Maleficent was out for the first week, 
Um, like, this is it. I'm in the shade 6 Neutral. It looks great on the skin. I think one thing about it is that they both have hyaluronic acid, which I think that ingredient, when added to a foundation, really helps keep my oils that come through like partially around here and in here, it helps them stay away. So, this one though is a full matte finish. This is a natural finish, 100%. Even though I powdered it, it was still like looking to the point where it's like, oh, there's still like a natural glow. It didn't look dewy. It didn't look like I had, it, you get what I mean, hopefully. <laughs> it looked very natural on the skin. It felt so nice on the skin and not noticing anything uh, with any of the foundations I've used lately. So that's nice. Then again, brands have been straying away from using heavy amounts of dimethicone, which has me just like, yes! Um, but yeah, this foundation I really do love. I haven't talked about it. I, like, if, I keep waiting for a day where I'm like, okay, I'm done with foundations reviews. I can talk about the best and worst foundations of 2019. I haven't gotten there yet. But, um, for the best and worst foundations I've tried since August. I mean, that's what I need to do. Or, last, best foundations I've tried within the last year. You get what I mean. But this, I would put high up there. Yes, the color looks weird in the tube. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, this one you can see is... Actually, they're very similar in color too. Keep in mind, this is frosted glass. It's gonna make this look lighter. Um, again, both have dimethicone, not dimethicone, both have hyaluronic acid. That's going to help hydrate. I still use a hydrating primer underneath, and these both wear so well. Um, honestly, that, this is the part that has me in shock, because this is a foundation I would use, but I know I have a long wear day. I want my skin to look, f like, flawless, and I want to have that bougie factor being like, people be like, oh my gosh, what's on your skin? It looks so good. And be like, oh yeah, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. And they'd be like, oh, wow. Um, because that's what this gives you. It looks so good on the skin. This is just like it on the skin. Um, okay, one thing I will say though, again, this is a full matte finish. The area right here, it, all around here, it stayed fully matte throughout the day. It didn't have like that natural glow that this does give. So these are very similar. They're also still very different. Because again, this one is twelve ninety nine. Charlotte Tilbury, how much is that one? I want to see that one's like fifty six. Oh no, I was wrong. It was fifty four. Which for that foundation, worth it. Just letting you know. Because other foundations that are like thirty nine, thirty nine, thirty nine. That's five dollars more. It looks so good. It's one of the best foundations I have. Definitely up there. That one I definitely would say like it would be a 9.8 out of 10. This, very similar. Again, different finish. This is more natural. If you don't set it, it would be more dewy. I, again, being more oily skin, I always set everything. Um, but this looks so good. Most areas it did look like natural matte, and in some areas it had like a natural glow from within type situation, similar to the Screen Queen foundation. So it looked really nice. Um, compliments were you look airbrushed. Um, when I was having lunch, my lunch, dinner, or whatever you want to call it, um, I had people coming up, told me the lady that was. Uh, Dominique was her name. Yeah, she was my waitress. And because I decided to. I had a gift card for somewhere, so I decided to go and eat there. It was nice. Um, and then the whole time she's like, What is that? What is that? What is that? And I was telling her, It's the new. It's this. Um, she kept coming up. She's like, Your skin just looks flawless. It looked 
airbrush. It looks this. It looks that. I'm like, thank you. Honestly, I appreciate hearing that whenever, or I appreciate hearing different things whenever some, whenever I'm trying something new. And she had, she didn't know me from Adam. So uh, I was like, thank you. I really did appreciate it. We had some regulars that came in. She's like, okay, what do you have on? <laughs> Because she's like, it looks really nice, it looks natural, your skin looks healthy. That's the main thing I've been getting a lot with these newer foundations. It's like, your skin looks healthy. I think breaking away from the more matte, full coverage type of products, you're getting to the point where you're like, your skin just looks healthy. Not, oh, you look like you're blanked out. Um, which honestly, I'm really learning to appreciate. Uh, someone even came out, they're like, yeah, wait, hold on. Like, no, with the lighting, how everything's sitting, it's like even blocking this out. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's okay. Um, back to the claims. Okay, one thing I do want to dock this for. 20 shades, I'm number 13. Maybelline. You have some really nice ranges for color, especially the Fit Me range. If you're going to be knocking it out of the park with these foundations, like this, like Super Stick, like the Dream Urban Cover, you need to have larger shade ranges. Here in the year 2020, you cannot release 20 shades and have someone who's on the light medium side be over the halfway point for the deepest shade range. I mean for your shade range. That does not work for a business model. And for that, I have to say, even though I like, I really do love how this looks. I love how it performed. I have to take away points for that. Um, Performance-wise, this is like a solid 9.6 for me. So, say, like, just under the Charlotte Tilbury, along the lines of the... Shiseido, and uh, Stay Naked Foundations. It's high out there because it looked so good. It wore so well. And it just felt good. Honestly, yes, I do prefer this more than Screen Queen. Um, maybe a little bit more than that new um, L'Oreal Foundation. But, like... The shade range is just terrible. I mean, again, so some ranges, they put my skin tone in the light. Others, they're like, oh, you're medium. Some, you're light medium. I'm in that spectrum. For me to be over the halfway point on your shade range, that's bad. Again, other foundation shades I wear are like NC38 for MAC. Um, 41 and N for uh, Urban Decay. <laughs> or I'm also, I use uh, Medium Olive for NYX. Or if I'm deeper, I use Neutral Tan, Natural Tan, something like that. I am that more middle ground. And if you really, like, looking at the color swatches online while I was eating, I was like, hmm, that's bad. Um, if you're more on the light, light medium side, you're going to find a color that's going to work for you. You're going to enjoy it. Try it out. If you are on the deeper spectrum, if you find your shade, cherish it. <laughs> um, honestly, this is a really good foundation. I don't want to say I hate it, but the color range, you need to expand Maybelline. You have the ability to. You've done it for your other ranges. The dream line, I know it's not as popular, but you need to put in the effort. Otherwise, people won't look at you, they're going to ignore you and move on, and you're not going to sell more of the good foundations that you're creating. And that's, that's that. Like, that's 100% honest. You have to do a supply and demand. 
yes, I know sometimes, uh, like, brands, they say, oh, we're coming out with this many foundation shades. And people are like, yay, you have so many. And, yes, some of the deeper shades don't sell as well because of the higher price tag. When you're in that drugstore range, you are going to sell more regardless. So you need to come out with the colors that will fit them. And I know this has become a rant. I know I need to stop that. But I really do feel about that because, like, I have cousins who are deeper than me. I can get away with this. They probably can't. And that's why I'm aggravated. I'm also thinking about my friends like Eamon, who we always joke we had to find the orange shade. If Eamon was going to look at this foundation range, let's see. They'd have one shade that might work for them. And literally, that is shade 120, 125, sorry, coconut. And that is the four, like, it's not the second to last, not the third to last, it's the fourth to last. And that's sad. Rest of Maybelline range, they're 330. If other ranges you can fit in there, it's going to be great. If you know your color and you know your name, you're going to find a color that works for you, good. But with the shade range, I'm just like, this is appalling. Uh, but we're going to move on from that. We're going to talk about the claims of this foundation. Get a radiant look plus 12 hours of hydration with this liquid foundation that leaves skin looking visibly improved. Honestly, my skin does feel really smooth. It feels plumped. It feels hydrated. So already with that, I do have to say, first impressions, my skin feels nice after removal. Um, uh, improves the look of skin, giving you a natural looking glow you'll never want to take off. This lightweight foundation formulated with hyaluronic acid and collagen hydrates and smooth skin while delivering a medium coverage foundation finish for the look of plump skin. Uh, it was more like the medium full side. It looked good, regardless. Um, I will say it did look natural. And again, some areas that had more of a natural glow, some areas that had more of a natural matte. So, it's more of a dead-on natural, but in your like, T-zone, it might get a little more of the glow when the rest of your face might look a little more of the natural matte. Just saying there. Um, get ready to face the city with Radiance. Experience a medium coverage foundation. Oh my gosh. Experience a medium coverage foundation finish your skin will never want to take off. This lightweight foundation formulated with hyaluronic acid, collagen, and collagen moisturizes skin and it gives a natural, radiant look. Delivers up to 12 hours of hydration. This new formula comes in 20 different shades and improves and provides smooth and even looking skin. It's the perfect foundation for dry skin. I would also say, if you are on the oily side and you are okay with that natural look, the natural glow, give this a shot. Okay. One other thing, everyone, I do want to say, with these foundations, I am getting fuller coverages because I am using this 100% odd. This NYX primer gives you more pigment with your foundation. <laughs> I like how whenever you slap it, you, you feel the jiggle on the inside. Anyway, um, with this as well, it does help with... Um, I forgot what I was just on a train thought. What was it? This is good for all skin types. Dry, combo, oily. You're always going to need hydration. This helps. Um, so that, plus the combination with the hyaluronic acid in this. I mean, it's a good combo. I loved it. Um, it played well with all the products I put on top of it. And it looked good throughout the whole shift I had and a little bit of time beforehand where I was eating. And literally, I kept getting compliments. That's the one thing about these foundations. They've all been getting compliments. So it makes it harder to say, no, I don't like it. <laughs> um, but even like me looking in the mirror at work, I was like, wait, whoa. We look good. <laughs> um, yeah, again, if you can find your shade, I definitely recommend this. Even if you are on the oily side, 
try it with that primer. Your skin's gonna like it. You can still powder on top. It's not gonna get that weird bunchiness. So, I definitely say try it. Wear, finish, everything. Again, I give it a, like a 9.6, actually 9.4. Yeah, 9.4. Mm. Yeah, 9.4. Because this, again, looks good. Color match was spot on for me. Again, 220, NC38, medium olive, natural tan in the summer, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I will definitely be using this again. Honestly, I think I like it more than the Dream Urban Cover. Even though that's a full natural finish, this just looked so nice on the skin. I do need to retry that Dream Urban Cover though. <laughs> Because I did try it and in Texas. I've used it in here, but I haven't like worn it out again and like really see how it looks. But Maybelline, your dream line is really nice. Please expand and work with it so that way more people can enjoy it. That's my only wish. Um, if I had an idea for the next dream line product, a dream concealer. Yes, I know there are some dream concealers, but I mean like a medium to full coverage concealer that, I don't know, <laughs> is like a natural finish. So that way we don't have to go to like higher end brands for like a natural finish concealer that's liquid and will stay down and wear. Hopefully that's coming out soon. If it does, called it. If not, Okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna stop again. I really do like this foundation. I just would, I just hoped Maybelline would do better with the color range. Aside from that, I'm gonna stop. Because I know this is now really long. Because <laughs> I cannot stop talking today. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you like me and want to see more, please do subscribe and click that little bell button because every time there's a new video, you'll get a notification. Okay, so this is kind of an update, by the way. Yes, it's weeks later, actually a month later. I did cut my hair. I did dye it. Um, because I messed up when I first dyed it, so I had to go back to black. And everyone's loving it. I'm on the fence. Yada, yada, yada. But the reason I'm on here is to talk about this foundation. So. I've worn it a few more times. I've worn it with different concealers, and I really enjoy it. Like, I've reached for it for work twice. Which says a lot. Um, I reached for it whenever we were doing seasonal beauty training at my second job. And I've worn it to my second job. I will say the second time I worked, or the time I worked on my second job that wasn't for training, it did get very dewy very quickly. But I think it was just because of the layers and it was a little bit warmer. But it still looked good. Um, and then whenever I worked for training, literally we mentioned it and I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I'm wearing right now. And everyone's like, wait, what? Oh. Oh. Ooh. That looks good. Like, everyone's like, your skin just looks good. It looks healthy. And that's the thing about this foundation. Whenever you remove it, it's... Whenever you go to remove it, it removes very easily. But whenever you're, like, wearing it, and, like, you do the stuff like this, it doesn't move. But after you use it, your skin just feels so much nicer. So, I really do love this foundation. Um, I keep recommending it to people, <laughs> and people are like, oh, maybe, and like, I'm just like, honestly, I have oily combo skin, and I love it. So, if you're on the dry side, dry combo, you might really love it. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna stop rambling. This is now finally the true end of the video. And I hope you have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.